What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back everyone, this is Lee, and yes, today's the day, we'll be looking at the Moment case for your iPhone 14 Pro, and also we do have the Cine Clear Snap-on Protection Filter, we also have the 67 millimeter Snap-on Filter, we do have a screen protector, and also we have the drop-in lens mount. So, with all that said, let's begin! All right, all right, let's take a look at this now. I don't know where to start, but uh, let me put all this out. Actually, you know what? Let me start with the actual screen protector right over here. Ooh, very nice packaging moment. Very nice. Let me pop this baby open. Should I need a knife? Oh, no, I don't need I do not need a knife to open this one. Oh, look at that. Wet wipes. <laughs> All right, we got some, we got some wet wipes. And um, yeah, well, you get two iPhone protectors, as you can see. Okay. Clean the screen with the alcohol wipes, dry with cloth, remove dust. Okay, very simple, straightforward. Let's do this together, guys. How hard can it be? I don't think that's my favorite last words right there, but we'll see. We will see. All right. Okay. Make sure the notch, you locate the notch first. I almost did it without locating a notch, so there we go. Definitely look at the notch before you apply. So I'm gonna do this upside down since the Removing stickers right there. So here we go. Actually, no, I'm, just, I'm just gonna remove the whole thing. Does it? Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Woohoo! Go moment. Oh yeah. And air bubbles, air bubbles. Okay, that's gone. Does it, does it do it by itself? We'll see. Do I need to, I might need to go and assist this part right here. Let me see. Oh. There we go. That was very painless and easy, actually. There we go. The screen protector is applied. Next thing is the iPhone Pro K. So to the side. Okay. So my, without looking at the directions, it just looks like this belongs in here. Let me put it on. Ooh. That is a very nice fit right there. All right, there we go. Look at that. All right, we got the case on the phone. Very simple. I think everyone has done this before in their lives. Um, so far, so good. This is a rubber. Yeah, it's very rubbery. Now, let's take a look at some accessories. One moment. What is the drop-in? Oh, you know what? Let me see the drop-in filter. Let's see, what, what is this? What is this all about? One moment. All right, this is exactly what it says. This is a 3D print. I can see the 3D printed lines on this unit right here. So this is for a snap-on lens, which I do have my anamorphic one right here. So let's see if this fits one. I guess I need to remove the, all right, I need to remove my case, I guess. Darn it. One second, let me plug back my case. One moment. And there we go, there we go. Now, let me put on my original anamorphic lens. Let's try this out. Let's see, does it actually screw in? I would hope it does. So the way you apply your adapter is by having this line facing up, and all you have to do is apply on top of the hole right there, and you twist, and that's it. And the cool thing about Moment is, if you download their app, you could do a lot of cool things, and also, record log. So that is a pretty cool ecosystem right there by moment. Now let's try another adapter. One moment. This next one is, uh, let's see. Woo. This is the Cine Clear Snap-on. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I like this packaging. Ooh, that is nice. So my guess is I need to also take this off as well. Okay, and let me apply the cine onto, and put it on the table so I don't drop it. One second. Mm. All right, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got it a fit. Awesome, awesome. Let me put my phone in. Wow. 
That is pretty interesting right there. Okay, all right. There we go. Actually, I like the way it looks after you put on the snap-on. But uh, yeah, I was having problems putting on the snap-on because I was doing it vertically. You're supposed to do it horizontally. So now you should have this indent right there on the side. So yeah, now it's perfect. See, I'm trying to like pull it out, move it up and down. There we go. There we go, guys. Woo! That, that scared me a little, a little bit right there. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, I would definitely show you guys some samples in a moment. So here is some samples of the CineClear UVs. All right. Now the next accessory is the 67 millimeters snap-on filter. So let's check this out one moment. Woo wee. There we go, there we go. All right, this is plastic. Just letting you guys know. Okay, it's a snap-on. Since this is a 67 millimeter filter thread right here. One moment. Since I didn't get my entire order from Moment, since there seems to be some sort of like DHL issue, uh, I could use other filters besides a Moment filter. You could use like a Tiffin filter or this H&Y filter, or let me see. You could use a Peter McKenna Polar Pro filter. So let me show you guys how this all works out now. So this is a step over ring right here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, here we go, here we go. All right, all right. Oh my God. So currently right now I am recording. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit right here. And uh, this is a polarizer and also an ND filter. Look at that, pretty cool. Okay, you saw that. And this is crazy. You got a rubber lens hood if you want. That is nuts. Now this is pretty insane, but also keep in mind, if you're doing wide angle mode, you will get some vignetting. So make sure you're doing zoom in pretty much, but uh, for their lens hood is rubber. So you could adjust the way you want. So this is the cine grade stuff right there. So there we go, right? Now let me show you guys some more cool things with H&Y filters. You guys are like, what is he doing? You guys can also slide in your filters and do proper landscape stuff. Oh, by the way, this is magnetic. Actually, you could first do right here. This is your G and D. Oh, old magnetic. And then you can slide it up and down. I have not even tightened it up yet, but you should tighten it up though, right? But let's say if you are ready to go, you could also slap on another filter. This is an ND filter, ND64. Check this out. Woo! Magnetic as well. So this is crazy. Just because of a adapter by moment, you could attach your professional gray filters onto this unit. And you could definitely do, I guess you could do all these filter, crazy filter stuff. All right, let me take this all out. Since this video is not about H and Y, this is about the moment adapter. I cannot show you guys too much of the samples of it, but I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested with the H and Y system right there. That's called the Swift system and is really popular in the Cine world. All right, currently right now I have a Tiffin Pro Mist right here. Apply the Pretty McKinnon right here, one second. All right, so here we go. Look at this, Polo Pro onto your iPhone 14 with the assist of the Moment body case and also the Moment 67 millimeter filter adapter right here. And also with the assist of a snap-on ring, you could snap on your professional filters onto your iPhone system. And for those people that are thinking further ahead, I will have to stop you from thinking ahead because this particular adapter right here is plastic. So if you put too much heavy stuff in front, this will snap off. So in that case, I hope that down the road moment or any company out there, if you're making a phone case to allow people to snap on filters on your iPhone, make sure that you make these adapter metal so we don't have to worry about anything falling over. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, whatever company comes out with that first, 
will definitely win the mobile market when it comes to filter adapting. So that will be pretty cool. But for now, this is plastic. The joint that's holding this filter is also plastic. So yeah, just make sure you understand that. But all in all, this is a very fun accessory for your iPhone 14 Pro. And yeah, with all that said, thank you guys for checking me back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace.